everyone, my name is Jenna Celesto. I am the group fitness manager and a personal trainer at the WAC in West Dallas. I have with me here today, Sonata, who is also an instructor at the WAC in West Dallas, as well as downtown, which is where I am at today. So we are going to do a strength workout today. It's gonna to be around 35 to 40 minutes and I'm gonna have you guys using a mat. You can use a surface at home, whether it's a rug, a carpet, anything that is nice and cushiony. And then for equipment, you can grab weights if you have them. If you're in our studios using it, you can grab our weights from there, or you can use things at home that might be water bottles, Lysol cans, anything like that, that can be used as a weight. So we're gonna start with the warm up. we're gonna do the workout, and then we're gonna do a cool down. Now how this is formatted is we're gonna have um, six circuits. We're gonna have two exercises in each circuit. We're gonna go through them two times before we move on to the next circuit. Now I'll always instruct you on the first two exercises and then I'll count you down when we're gonna start and when we're gonna stop. The way it's set up, rep wise, we're gonna do around eight to 14, eight to 14, eight to 15 reps and either 40 seconds if we're doing an exercise like abs that might be more time-based versus reps. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started with a warm up here. We're gonna start with some jumping jacks. I'm either gonna have you do regular ones or you can do stepping out to the side. All right, we're gonna get started here. 30 seconds, three, two, go. Awesome, nice and light on the feet. Good. Getting that heart rate up. Keep it going here. We're gonna get a great sweat in today. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and shake it out a little bit. Awesome job. All right, next we are gonna do some arm swings just to get the upper body warmed up. So we're gonna start here and drive back. If for any reason you have any shoulder limitations, just give me shoulder rolls. All right, and go. Good. Getting that full extension back. Give me 10 seconds here. In five, four, three, two, and done. All right, last warm up piece is gonna be our lower body hip openers. How this is gonna go, you're gonna drive one leg up and out. You wanna open up that groin and hip area. You're gonna be alternating with this. One thing you're trying not to lean from side to side. We're gonna do 30 seconds of this as well. Three, two, go. Driving that leg up and out. We're getting ready to do those full body movements. We're gonna hit every muscle group today. It's gonna be great. Almost halfway here. Give me 10 seconds, that's it. Five, four, three, two, and you are done with that. Awesome job. All right, if you guys have anything else you wanna stretch out, you can continue to do that. I'm gonna explain the first two exercises. So the first one here, we have wide, narrow, wide squats. How that's gonna look, you're gonna start out nice and wide. You're gonna come down, bring it in, and out to the other side. You're gonna keep going through that. We're gonna do 12 of those. The next one after that, we're gonna do cross front raises. Grabbing those weights or a bottle, water bottle, Crossing here for that first one. If for some reason you can't do squats, you can just give me little pulses. Doesn't have to be the full motion, all right? Then for the cross front raises, if for some reason you have any shoulder issues, just give me a slight bend in that front raise. If you wanna do any of these without weight, please feel free. All right, grab those weights for the squats. We're gonna get started here. 12 reps, and then we're gonna do 12 for the cross front raises as well. Three, two, go. One, two, good. Awesome. Halfway, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, one last one here, and 12. Awesome, setting that down, shake out those legs, grab your weights or water bottles or whatever else you're using. Cross front raises, 12 of these here, and go. Good. Keeping that core nice and tight. Four. Awesome. Chest up. Almost there. 10, 11, and 12. Perfect. All right. I always say after the first round, if for some reason you feel that you want to increase your weight, if your form's going a little bit, I decrease the weight or drop the weights altogether. Totally fine. We're going to go back to those squats. Let's get ready. 12 of these here. Three, two, go. Wide, narrow, pushing through those heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Give me one last one. Twelve. Awesome job. Whew, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Good. All right. Grabbing the weights for our cross front raises. Last time here and then we'll move on. Three, two, go. Two, three, four, five, six. Halfway here. Eight, give me four more. Four, three, two, one last one. Woo, set that down. I hope you guys are warmed up. Shake out those arms and legs. Grab a drink if you need to. Stay hydrated throughout this workout. We're gonna move on here. Our next one, we're gonna be doing one, two, three RDL. How this is gonna work, we're gonna push our hips back, keeping that chest up, coming past the knees a little bit. We're actually gonna make one, two, three, we're gonna come back up. So we're making definite pinpoints on our body. One, two, three, standing back up. You can use the weights, you can use an at-home item, or you can use no weights. Second one here, we're gonna be down on the ground. We're gonna do something called circle abs. How this is gonna look, I'm gonna give you two different variations. You're gonna come circle around to the middle, circle back down, circle to the other side, middle, circle back down, so you're alternating. If for some reason that is difficult for you, you can stay standing up and just give me cross knees here if that is difficult for you. For the RDL, if that's difficult, just give me a slight bend, okay? Still pushing those hips back. Let's get started with the RDL, one, two, three. All right, grabbing those weights. Three, two, go. 12 of these here. One, two, good. Chest up, shoulders back. Three, four, awesome job. Five, six, we're halfway. Seven, keep using those hamstrings. Eight, give me four more. Four, three, two more, that's it. One last one, come on. Woo, nice job. My hamstrings are definitely burning. All right, those two options, either up or down on the ground. For this one, we are timed. We're doing 40 seconds. It's a long time, but you got it. All right, get ready here, knees bent. Three, two, go. To the middle, down, to the other side. With this one, when we come around, we're breathing out. Good. Awesome. Keep it going, you're halfway. Keeping that core nice and engaged. We're not pulling up with our neck. We're getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Almost there. Three, two, and done. Woo, nice job. Stand on up. 
grab a drink if you need to. And we're getting ready for round two. Like I always say, if you want to grab a little heavier weight, if you want to decrease that weight, it is up to you. Either doing that little bend or the full motion. All right, 12 of these here. Three, two, go. Awesome. Two, one, two, three. Keeping that chest up. Halfway here, halfway. Almost there, give me four more. Three, two, one last one. Woo, all right. Set those weights down. Either you're standing for these, down on the ground for circle abs. Okay, perfect. Sarata is going to do the variation. Three, two, go. Good. You notice how she's keeping her chest up, driving her knee up to her opposite elbow. I'm coming around in a circle, coming down. Keep breathing. Less than half. Give me 10. Almost there, guys. And done. Woo, nice job, awesome. All right, we are already through two different circuits. We are gonna move on to the next ones. You can grab a drink, stretch out whatever you need to. I'm gonna show the third. So the third one here is gonna be banded. If you have a band, if not, we can do them without a band. Banded fire hydrant to glute kick back. We're gonna do 12 on one side, 12 on the other. Then we're gonna move on to bicep curl to chest press out. Now, I'm gonna show you the first one. We're down here on all fours. We're gonna be bringing one leg up to the side, down, kick back. Really trying to keep our body nice and in line, not leaning from one side to the other. Then we're gonna move on to the next leg. The other one here, we're gonna be grabbing one dumbbell. You're gonna curl and press out. When you press out, you wanna make sure you're just applying pressure on both sides, you're not grabbing. You're just applying pressure, you're squeezing. Imagine that you have something and you're pushing it together. Here, back down and up. For the fire hydrants, if for some reason that irritates you to go on your knees like that, you can do them standing up, okay? Let's go down, we're gonna do 12 on each leg. 12 meaning side, back is one, okay? Three, two, go. Good, squeezing that glute at the top. This is two, three, keeping that body centered, four, five, We're halfway on this leg. Seven. Eight. Almost there. Nine. Ten. Two more. One last one. Good. Moving on to the other leg. And go. Good. Keep that breathing. I definitely am feeling it in my glute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five. Perfect. We're halfway. Give me four more here. Four. Three. You go at your own pace. And one. Good, Whew, take a breather. I'll give you some time if you're just finishing up yours. We're standing on up. I'm gonna suggest using a medium weight. For me, I'm using a 15 
You can use something lighter if you're using a water bottle. Really try to press to squeeze and feel that. This one's gonna be targeting the chest more than the biceps. We're still getting a nice bicep pump with that. All right, again, curling, pressing out. We're gonna do 12 of these as well. All right, three, two, go. Good. Two, just applying pressure. Three, awesome. Chest up. Good, halfway here. Seven. Eight, give me four more. Four. Three. Two. One last one. And done. Now I can tell that got a little heavy for me. So next time I'm gonna go to an eight so I can really just push it out all the way. Down on the ground, glute kick back, or you're standing up doing this. One side, 12 reps, go. Good. Four. Five. Six. Awesome job. Almost there, guys. Squeeze that glute at the top. 10, give me two more. One last one, that's it. Woo, I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, other leg, and go. Keeping that body nice and in line. Hands are right under those shoulders. Four. Give me six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One last one. Come on, big squeeze. Hold and down. Whoo, nice job. You're definitely feeling that. I'm gonna grab a drink, you should as well. Getting ready here. Bicep curl to chest press out. Three, two, go. 12 of these here. Applying pressure on the sides. Good. You got it. Halfway. Seven. Eight. Four more here, chest up, keep breathing. Three, two, one last one. We're gonna hold it a little longer, hold, and down. Whoo, little extra challenge there. Nice job. We are officially halfway through. We have three more circuits, and then we'll do a nice cool down. Next one here, this one is definitely a challenge, but super, super good. So we're gonna do lunge taps. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. The next one we're gonna do is oblique twist. We're gonna do that one for 40 seconds. For the lunge tap, if you don't feel comfortable doing a lunge tap, which is you're coming back, crossing tap, tap together, just give me a regular half lunge. You can do a full one, down and up, pushing through that front heel, or you're giving me halfway, whatever you feel comfortable with. 10 on one leg, 10 on the other. You're coming, I'm gonna show one more time. Coming back, cross, back, and up. Does that make sense to you? Perfect. All right, that next one, oblique twist. Grabbing a dumbbell, you can do it without weight or your household item. Nice little squat here. We're rotating at that torso, we're turning. We're gonna do two to one side, two to the other. Twisting at that torso keeping the weight nice and close to our body. 40 seconds. All right, if you wanna grab a weight for the lunge, you can. If you don't wanna wait, totally fine. We're gonna get started, either the lunge tap, or the half lunge, or full. 
whatever you feel comfortable with. 10 on each leg. Three, two, go. Back, tap, back, and up. Good. Back, tap, back. That's two. Good. Another booty burner. Four. We're halfway pushing through that front heel. You want to apply pressure to the front heel versus the toe to take weight off of the knee. Three more here. Give me two more. One last one. Are we both of them? Awesome. Shake out that leg. Whew. You feel those? That was a good burn. That's super good burn. All right, switching the legs here. Other one comes in front, other one's going back and crossing over. Go! As I'm doing the same leg, and up, back, cross, two. That's three. Pushing through that front heel. Give me five more. Good. Keep that chest up, breathing. Three more. Two more. One last one, that's it. Woo! Now, those times when you tap back, they're kind of meant to be little pulses, so you're still contracting those glutes. Great, great burn there. All right, oblique twist, grabbing a weight, Household item, you can even hold your dog or cat. <laughs> Some people have done that, or your baby. <sighs> All right, let's get started. 40 seconds, three, two, go, go, go. Two one way, middle, two the other way. Just turning with that torso. Good. If for some reason this is difficult for you, do it without the weight. It's gonna make it a lot better on your torso. You are halfway. Good. Almost there. Give me 10. Five. Two. And done. Woo, set that down. Take a little breather here. Grab a drink if you need it. All right, let's get going here with the lunges. We're gonna rock this last time with it, then only two more circuits we're flying through. Starting with that same leg. Three, two, go. Together, back, tap. Good, back, you're crossing over, tap. Three. One last one. Done. Woo. Sound of time. Make sure you're crossing over the opposite leg. I did the opposite this yeah. time, I noticed. That's okay, totally fine. <laughs> All right, other leg, and go. Good, they both work though. Two. Three, keeping that chest up. We're putting pressure through that heel. Really thinking about working the glutes. This is half. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Give me two more. One last one. Done. Whoo! My booty is burning. Good. Nice job. Shake it out. Take a breather if you need to. Whew. All right. Great way to start your morning. Let's do an oblique twist. 40 seconds. Three, two, go, go, go. Two each way. Middle, 
two each way. Good. I'm breathing out as I turn. Awesome. Keep it up. Only two circuits after this. Almost there. You're more than half. Give me 10 seconds. Weight is nice and close to your body if you're using it. If not, you're still rotating. Two, done. Woo! All right, setting that down. We are on to our last two circuits. Next one here is probably my favorite. We are doing a good morning to squat. How that's gonna look, grabbing a weight. We're gonna do 10 of these. Little wider stance, what I always say is shoulder width. You're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. You're pushing those hips back. Your legs only have a slight bend. I'm gonna hold the weight here, down. I'm gonna come up into a sumo squat. I'm pushing my knees out, keeping that chest up and up. If for some reason that's difficult, just give me squats, body weight squats, okay? Or you can give me a body weight, good morning. All right, next one here, we have row to tricep kickback. Love this one, great, great burn. I would use medium weights. You're gonna be hinging at those hips. You're rowing, squeeze, tricep kickback, just bending at that elbow. If that's difficult for you, just give me either the row or the tricep kickback, whichever you feel is best for you. Let's get started with that good morning to sumo squat. You can do it with one weight, two weights, whatever you feel is best for you. I'm gonna start with two weights here. We're gonna do 10 for the good mornings and for the row to tricep kickbacks, we're gonna do 10 as well. All right, three, two, go. Good, squeezing those glutes. It's two. Good. So both of these together are one. So we're on seven, eight. Give me two more. One last one here. Nice job. Did that make sense? I cheated out on one. You cheated? <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, I should have said that before, but one is gonna be a good morning and a squat. That's one. All right. Row to tricep kickback. 10 of these here. Woo! Let's get ready. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Three, two, go. Row back. Good, nice fluid motion. You see how Sonata and I are kicking back and then dropping it. This is four, five. Give me five more here. Five, four, Three, two, one last one, that's it. Whoo, my triceps are burning, but in a good way. Whew. All right, Sonata, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's last go. time with the good morning to squat, 10 of these, one is with the good morning and the squat. Three, two, go, pushing those hips back, up, squat, good. Squeezing those glutes, keeping that chest up. Good. Three, four, five. Five more here, that's it. Four. Give me three more, come on. Two. One last one, pushing those hips back. Standing up. Whoo. <laughs> that was difficult. Grab a drink, please, if you need it. All right. Feeling good here. Grabbing our, excuse me, grabbing our weights for the row to try some kickback. Getting ready. Last time. Three, two, 
Go, row. Kick, back, and down. Good. Really squeezing when you come up. Keeping that core nice and tight. You don't want to feel it in your low back. If for some reason you start to stand up a little bit more. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One last one. That's it. Woo! One more, Jenna. One more. We got it. Okay. So, last one. One good thing, we are down on the ground the whole time. We are gonna do glute bridge with leg extension and then knee tucks. How the glute bridge is gonna look. I'm gonna show you the variation first. You wanna have those feet nice and close to your glutes, meaning right here. You're just gonna push up into that glute bridge, down and up. Now for, if you want a little challenge, you're gonna bring your hips up. You're gonna bring one leg out at a time Back down, other leg out, back down while keeping those hips up. If you want a really extra challenge and an extra burn, you're gonna add a weight on there. Like I said, if you're starting with just that first level coming up, down, you don't need any weight, totally fine. The next one here, knee tucks. We're gonna be driving our elbows and knees in together. We're extending out, in lifting those shoulder blades and out. If that's difficult, just give me one leg in and out at one time, okay? Kind of like a dead bug style. All right, whew. get ready here. We're doing the glute bridge with leg extension. We're gonna do 12, and for the knee tucks, we're gonna do that 40 seconds. Getting ready here. Feet by the glutes, 12 of these alternating. And go, one, good, two, three, Four, you're gonna feel it in those glutes and hamstrings. Five, six, halfway, seven, keep breathing, eight, four, three, two, give me one more. Whoo, bring it down. Nice job, you added the weight. All right, getting ready. Knee tucks, take that breather. Like I said, alternating or you can do in together with both. Let's get ready. 40 seconds here. Three, two, go in and out. Breathing for this. When you come in, you're breathing in, out as you're going out. If you feel that low back start to raise, please bring your legs up a little bit. We always want that low back engaged with the floor. Ten seconds here. Almost there. If you want to do the alternating, please do that. Two and done. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. You too. All right. We have one last one left. And then we were going to stretch. I'm really sweaty. I didn't think I'd get that sweaty, but I am. Okay, last time. Glute bridge with leg extension, 12. You know what, actually for the last one, we're gonna shoot for 15, just for an extra challenge. All right, up, go. Five more here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, coming down. Take a breather. Awesome job. All right. Detox. This is your last thing, and then we are going to cool down. I hope you guys had a great workout. Let's get ready. Three, two, go. Keeping that low back engaged. Breathing in and out. Good. Awesome. Halfway, halfway. Almost there, keep pushing. 
pushing. We're gonna end this workout on a great note. Feeling strong. Five, three, two, and you are officially done. Awesome job, woo! <laughs> All right, so let's sit on our mats. Just let the breath calm down a little bit. Let that heart rate come down. How are you feeling? Oh, feeling so good. Good, I'm glad. All right, first thing I want us to do, let's just bring our legs out in front of us nice and straight. We did a lot of lower body. Let's lean down towards those legs. If that's difficult for you, lean down as far as you can go. Do what's best for you. Awesome. We're gonna hold it for about 10 more seconds. Three. Two, and coming up here. Next one I wanna do is for the quads. I love, love, love this one. My quads tend to get super, super tight from running, weightlifting. I'm sure yours get tight from cycle, definitely. All right, so we're gonna bring one leg behind. We're gonna turn and come down a little bit, okay? Pushing back. Awesome, doesn't it feel super good? If you want an extra challenge, you can lay back all the way, but just be careful of that knee, okay? Good. Do what's best for your body. Listen to your body with this one. Good. All right, let's move on to the other leg here. We're gonna lean back. I have a beautiful view of the buildings from outside the downtown WAC. If you have not visited this location, you need to get here because it is Beautiful. It's like sightseeing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Feel like I'm on vacation. All right. Let's wiggle out those legs. Shake them out a little bit. We're going to stand up nice and slowly. You don't want to stand up super fast after working out. All right. I'm going to have us bring our arm across our chest. Now, big pointer with this one. You want to keep that shoulder down. You don't want to elevate. You want to keep it down so you can get that nice stretch across your arm. Awesome. Few more seconds on this arm. All right, bring that other arm across. This will be our one of our last stretches here. Keeping that shoulder down. Good. Last one here I love to end all my classes with, giving me big circle arms coming up, big breath, and out. Two more. And out. And one last one. Stretch from head to toe, reach the arms to the ceiling, toes into the floor, and out. You guys are completely done. Thank you so much, Sonata, for joining me today. Thank I hope you. you guys had a great workout. Please, if you want to, play this video in a studio and do it in our wonderful clubs. I'm so excited to see you guys. Have a great day.